What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zana Landscape. So I wanted to pop in tonight and give you guys an update on the bus build or the truck build, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people have been hitting us up on Instagram and here on YouTube asking us what's going on with the truck. Well, here it is. Um, as you can see, I got the bed wired up to where that is dumping now, which is great. I got all the uh, fuel lines ran and hooked up um, so I can fill it up, which is obviously necessary to be able to drive this thing. Um, what else have I done? Uh, we got a frame built to raise the tunnel box. I'll show you a picture of that real quick right here. And other than that, we really haven't done too much. Um, if you guys are new, I'll give you a uh, walk around of this thing. Um, this started as a bus and we've built it into what you see here. It's a Chevy 4500. Uh, so we put the dump bed on it, we put uh, that tunnel box on it, and whenever I bought it, it only had single rear wheels. I've got the other wheels for it now to put on, I just haven't done that yet. So I need to put that inner dually wheel on both sides. Um, I need some painting, obviously. This is a cry steel bed. Uh, it's got fold down sides. Here's where the handle was for the fold down sides. Um, this is one of the ones that had like the rubber grip on it and if you guys have ever seen one of those that has been a snow plow truck what happens is the salt and the water gets down in those rubber handles and they end up rusting off right where that rubber ends and that's exactly what happened there so we got a weld a new piece on that side um, but pretty nice bed really all in all the powder coat is uh, still in decent shape up there Need to clean it obviously, but down the side's pretty chewed up, so we'll definitely be touching that up. Uh, and I want to paint our other beds. I have two other dump trucks, and those are white. I want to paint those black too, but that's for a, another video. Um, but what we have to do now, so I guess I can s switch over to uh, that's what we've done. Now, what we need to do, so um, I guess. As far as operations go, we really don't need to do anything. I think there's a slow coolant leak, but I think one of the uh, lines is loose. I can kind of see where it's coming from, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I need to get it painted, and I need to get some wheel simulators. And then, other than that, I think it's pretty much ready to rock and roll. Uh, like I said, the bed is uh, wired up. And that was one thing that I really wanted to get done as of uh, late because I had never seen it work. So I wanted to get that hooked up, make sure everything was good, make sure I wasn't gonna have to order a new pump or something like that. So got that hooked up, everything's good. Uh, all it was, was right here. So you've got your solenoid right here. And then you've got these little, I guess you call them actuators. I'm not really sure what those are, but anyway, you've got four wires that come up. You've got one, which is the, mine was brown, dark brown. That goes to the hot on the solenoid, which is where the one that goes to the battery or from the battery, whatever way you want to call it. But that one's always hot, that one's always got power. So this black one goes to that, that way your controller always has power, or dark brown, not black. Um, then you have, in my case, on this one, my other two trucks were different, um, had different color wires. But on this one, I have green and yellow. Those went to these two actuators, which is for power up. One's for power up, one's for power down. Um, I don't remember which wire's which. And then you have your white, which is the one that I think is the uh, 12 volt power to the solenoid. That's the one that makes the solenoid switch over and actually work. I think if I got that figured out right, but anyway, that's a ran on the pump, but yeah. That is pretty much uh, where we're at with the truck, guys. Not, uh, not too far along from the last time I, vid I did a video, but uh, we're we're pretty much there. We're pretty much to where we've done uh, what we're gonna do. I was gonna try to paint it, and I still may try to do that, but I'm just running out of time, running out of energy on this thing, so I may just get it painted. Uh, it's not gonna cost that much. It's just a cab, two doors, cab, and the hood. So uh, it's not gonna be very expensive. And then the bed, I will do that myself. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna do that yet. I know a lot of people roll um, 
roll paint on these and I don't really think I want to do that so not quite sure where we're going to go with that yet. Um, I may just spray bomb the outside of it just to clean it up obviously um, but then spray paint it just to get it get it looking decent uh, get it looking presentable the 15 foot paint job if you want to call it that um, but we'll do that to it and then get that painted put some wheel simulators on this thing and we should be ready to rock and roll. And if it would ever quit frickin' raining, we might be able to get something done. We've gotten rained out so many times this year and uh, it's only July. So yeah, that's, that's about how our year is going so far. But yep, just wanted to pop in here, give you guys a quick update on the truck. That's where we're at. That's where we're gonna leave it for now. I'll see you in the next one.